Welcome, YouTubers, to another unboxing video. This time around, like last time, I have an arcade block. Uh, here's the deal. I actually didn't like this block all that much. I only tried it for one half off time trial. But turns out I got it again. I don't remember it. Thought I canceled the subscription. Nerdblock, I think you're really shifty, I'm assuming, with how you do things on your subscriptions. Because I'm pretty sure I canceled, but you're like, nope, sorry, got the money already. Sorry, suck it. Um, but I don't think that's the case. But you know what? I'll try to enjoy it, even though I'm a little sleepy and I didn't look for this block in the first place. Hopefully, there's good things in here, Nerdblock. All right, I'm going to open you up in the normal fashion that we do. I don't look at what's inside of it. I just feel around like I'm lost in a closet. Ugh. All right, it's open up. It's open, it's open, it's open. All right, first, no, I thought it was a pop, but I don't think so. All right, I'll pull out the first little thing. We have a morph ball, a stress reliever, whatever the hell that is. Uh, okay. It is a little squeezy ball. It's just a foam ball. It's a foam ball. I'm not sure what that is, though. Um, it looks like it's a nerd block made thing for sci fi block, so it doesn't look like it's licensed. It smells funk. It smells like a series of crickets in a bag. That's what it smells like. Uh, you can tell I'm delirious. Uh, okay. Next thing. Another little ball. Another freaking thing. It's an exclusive item. It is a puzzle cube. I wonder what's in the puzzle cube. Open you up. Come on. Open. Maybe that's the puzzle. You can't get the dang thing open. Oh, come on, man. Get it open. There you go. I ripped it. I ripped it. Oh, come on, man. It's a Rubik's cube. See this? This is a Rubik's Cube. What that means is, this Rubik's Cube will always stay like this, otherwise I will never be able to solve it. Because I've never solved one, and I think they're impossible. Next, move on. T-shirt, we'll just pull this out now. It is... Street Fighter! Don't know who's on the shirt. Maybe it's Ken? I'm not sure. Uh, this is Street Fighter V. Shirt Punch, Shirt, which I think Shirt Punch is the company that Nerdblock does. But, nice shirt, I like it, it's pretty okay. This big thing that I thought was a pop, maybe. Oh wow, I actually really kind of like that. It's a Mortal Kombat X Scorpion Bobblehead. If I had to get, well, it's a little dusty. If I had to get the bobblehead of a character from Mortal Kombat, other than probably Sub-Zero, I'm glad I got Scorpion, because he's pretty cool. Ooh, there's something else down here. Ooh, there's more things down here. I got a beanie hat with a Pokeball on it. I love Pokeballs, because I like Pokemon. All right, all right. Looks like it's an arcade block exclusive. So they're doing a lot of their own licensed stuff. And I think I just got a license plate. Bam. Oh, maybe not. What did I get? Accidents hurt you. It seems like a Fallout type thing. I'm not sure. Aperture, safety, I'm not exactly sure what that is, but it's uh, safety precautions and stuff. What is this? Portal. Portal. It's a safety sign from Portal, the game. And the Street Fighter has, oh, I got, oh, I don't know. Yeah, okay, so I was pretty much right. All right, so, but that's the end of the block. Um, ended up with this sign, which we'll just say is like five bucks, probably maybe more. This ball, we'll say two bucks. Beanie hat, which we could probably say like five to ten, something like that. Bobblehead, which realistically we'll put a ten dollar bill on for a price. And t shirt, standard, we'll do like ten, twelve bucks, something like that. And this cube, this Rubik's cube. Um, it's cool because it's Mario, but otherwise it's just a Rubik's Cube, that's plastic. Um, so probably overall, it's probably like 35 bucks worth of, mer worth of merchandise. Uh, I, you know, not bad, better than the last one for me personally because there's brands that I like. But um, 
Yeah, I'm gonna make sure I cancel this again. I don't like this as in comparison to sci-fi and stuff like that. So, that's gonna do it for the unboxing. Thank you so much for watching, highly appreciate it. Make sure you enter my contest from my wonderful The Vision Funko Pop figure, which the video will be added right now. What I'm asking you to do, in honor of my friend Scott, who decided to paint a bunch of Jigglypuffs inside of my Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! painting that you've seen in another video of mine, I'm gonna need you to go back into all of my YouTube videos and find three randomly hidden Jigglypuffs in my videos. I have gone through and inserted them myself tonight, and I'm gonna need you to find them. All you have to do to win is find all three, send me a private message on here, which you can do by going onto my profile under about and then sending me a message with the three different URLs and I need you to share this video on your Twitter or also on your Facebook. Just let me. And thank you again for watching this video. I hope you have an amazing day. Check out some of my other videos like the one right up here. You can see some cool stuff from Game of Thrones by clicking on this link. And that'll do it. Have an amazing day. Take care and goodbye.